So you clicked on today's video because you want to know where to find the weapons in Roblox Piggy Intercity. Am I correct? So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all the weapons, also giving you some tips on how to find some of them possibly, and yeah, let's test out this sniper. Okay, okay, that was, I clearly did not miss that. Hey, what's going on guys? My name's Anthony or Big B Stats, and today I'm going to be going over again all the weapons uh, in Piggy Intercity as of now and sharing these stats with you. But if you do enjoy the video, remember to leave a like and share it. Also, feel free to subscribe for more and if you're new. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So the first weapon we're going to talk about is going to be the axe. So the axe, ladies and gentlemen, has a damage of 30. It also has a cooldown of 1.8 seconds and it also has a stun of 0. 0.9, which I would highly suggest this is very good to use I'm also gonna be letting you guys know what's a good combo for this and again I'm gonna let you guys know where you could possibly find the guns or how to actually find the guns So make sure you stick around to the end of this video. So that is the axe the next weapon that we're going to be talking about is going to be the pickaxe. Now, the axe and the pickaxe is a very good combo, being that the axe does a damage 30. The pickaxe does damage 25, so that's two great weapons to use. I typically use that in my 1 and 2 slot, and we have a damage of 25, cooldown of 1.6 seconds, and a stun of 0 0.5 seconds, so very good really like that again if you want to use that combo that's such a good combo to take out some infected next up we have the wrench now the wrench does damage 13 so it's a little bit weaker obviously a lot weaker i'd say cooldown 0.4 seconds and the stun is just 0.1 seconds which also is not too bad but it's not the strongest of weapons next up we have the bat which this was also showcased by mini tune before so the bat does a damage of 20 cooldown one second and stun 0.5 seconds which i think this is actually pretty pretty well balanced i say for a forward bat so really really like this bat a lot something you could definitely use in your battles now we also have a crowbar if you find a crowbar it's actually quite good so the damage of it is 19 cooldown 1.1 seconds and stun 0 0.7 seconds so very very interesting there we also have a hammer which i tend to end up finding the hammer in like the school i've also found it in the mall but the hammer the damage is 14 cooldown 0 0.5 seconds stun 0 0.2 seconds pretty well rounded and i have a lot of ammo but i want to talk about the weapons first and then again we're going to get into where you could possibly find these weapons and i'm going to share some tips with you guys also from some of my friends who've also found some of these weapons as well and what you can possibly leave today's video knowing about the weapons if you're struggling finding them so we also have the stick as well which i actually forgot to mention so the stick does 10 damage cool down one second and the stun is 0.5 five seconds and i forgot to also mention that we also have a shovel so there's actually also a shovel in the game i didn't actually have it on me the best is nick actually had it on him so i completely forgot about that so the shovel does 23 cool down 0 0.7 and the stun is 0 0.1 so very cool there but i like to rock out with the axe and the pickaxe in the one and two slot so one hit with the axe second hit with the pickaxe so let's get and talk about some of the weapons here uh, that we have so right now we have the smg so as you know we have about five guns in the game that you can also locate which again i'm going to talk more about that in a bit after covering up the actual damage of these weapons so the smg looks awesome which is pretty much like one level up from the pistol so you start out with the pistol then the smg is next then you have your assault rifle shotgun and such things like that so here we have it so the smg has 16 damage clip size 30 reload 2.5 seconds so very basic very easy and classic for an smg now we also have a shotgun here which the shotgun looks awesome let me know if you guys are struggling finding weapons down below in the comments as well <clears throat> i've also got a few comments about that like big b how do you find these weapons so again hopefully you can leave today's video with a little bit more confidence on finding the weapons and what to actually look for now the shotgun does damage between 10 and 50 clip size is six reload three seconds so that 10 and 50 is huge i'm assuming the closer you are with the shotgun the more damage it is going 
to do. Now we also have the sniper rifle here, and I'm just gonna go up here just because, I mean, we're going up to a tower. If we're sniping, we should be on a sniper tower right here, and look at that. It just looks awesome. And even having this in first person looks amazing, as you saw at the beginning of the video, at least, where I was able to also test this out. And you may be finding bullets yourself, but not actually finding these weapons. So again, where do you find these weapons? Now, the sniper rifle does 55 damage, clip size one, reload 1 1.5 seconds. So very, very good here. And I'm also gonna be going over what the pistol does. Now, one thing I will say, I've, I've, we've not been able to find the assault rifle at all. Now, the pistol does 17 damage, clip size 17, reload is two seconds. But again, we have not found the assault rifle yet upon this video being made, so we'll still be looking for it. But how do you actually find these weapons? Where can you find these weapons? So what I will say is you will be able to find these weapons obviously in the locations. Now, if you don't know all the locations, we did a video before this covering all the locations inside of Piggy Intercity. That is going to increase your chances right there at finding more weapons because you literally have all the locations. So we spent the time looking all around the map on where to actually go. And there's like over nine locations that you can actually go and search for these weapons. Now, what I will say is the weapon spawns are random. Now, bear in mind, you can maybe possibly leave an area and come back to it and see if something else has respawned. So I suggest kind of getting everything that you can in one area leaving and then coming back at a later time. So I think the more time you spend in Piggy Intercity, the game logged in, I think the more chance you have of possibly unlocking these weapons and seeing these weapons spawn. So if I were you and something I think that really helps is join random games, join in and really search every location especially if you're trying to find this. And once you find it, it stays on your character, guys. So I think it's definitely worth joining in multiple games, looking around different servers, and trying to see if you can find yourself a weapon laying around. So check everything. Again, I highly suggest you watch the all location videos because it's really going to be helpful on finding it. I know people who've had some luck at finding it in the refinery, had some luck finding it in the city. Also, you know, they just joined in and found it straight away. So it's quite random, guys. There is no solid answer, but if you all have any tips on finding the weapons, please be helpful to each other down below in the comments and comment down below, you know, what do you notice anything about finding a weapon? Do you have any tips or tricks on it as well? But those are my tips on it, guys. Just be patient, don't rush into it. Uh, again, this is more of a, a long journey game. But thank you all so much for tuning in. If you did enjoy, again, feel free to leave a like and share it. Also, feel free to subscribe for more. And if you're new, and if you want to show your further support to me, you can always use star code BIGB2 when purchasing Robux or Premium. And I will also say, guys, if you're finding ammo, make sure you grab the ammo, even if you don't have the gun yet. So uh, when you do find it, which I know you will, you will have some ammo for it. And uh, yeah, I will see you all in the next video. Bye!